हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डू चैप्टर नंबर वन द फन दे हैड रिटर्न बाय आई सैक ए सी मूव अबाउट द स्टोरी इंट्रोडक्शन द फन दे हैड इज अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी दैट फॉल्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ साइंस फिक्शन एंड हैज द फ्यूचर ईयर ट्वेंटी वन फिफ्टी सेवन एज इट्स it takes us into a world where computers will play a major role in educating children schools that use paper books and that encourage mutual interaction between teachers and students will cease to exist summary of the story on may 17 2157 tommy a young boy of 13 happens to find a book in the attic of his house which he shows to margie a girl of 11 the book is centuries old and its pages are yellow and crinkly both tommy and margie are amazed to see that the words in the book are fixed on the pages and do not move as they do on a screen Actually they have been born and brought up in an era of advanced computers and TV with the mechanical teacher giving lessons at home Margie recalls that once her grandfather had told her about how stories were printed on pages in the time of his grandfather Tommy considers book a waste because unlike computers They cannot have new words after one has finished reading them. Margie is disappointed when Tommy tells her that the book is about a school because she dislikes school. Her concept of a school is a TV screen with machines giving lessons in various subjects. The TV has a special slot where the students have to submit their homework which is checked and marked by the machine in no time margie's dislike for a school has been intensified these days because the mechanical teacher has not been functioning properly margie's mother calls the count inspector to examine the cause behind the error the inspector disbands the mechanical teacher and finds that margie was not at fault for her poor performance actually the geography sector had been fixed at a speed that was too fast for the little girl the inspector is able to set the speed to margie's level but she is unhappy to have the teacher put in order she had hoped that it would be taken away for some time and she would be relieved of the trouble of taking so many tests tommy informs margie that the book is not about their kind of school which has a tv with mechanical teachers it is on the other hand about the old kind of schools which used to work 100 years ago He tells her that the old schools were special buildings where lessons were taught by men and not by machines. The students of one level were taught together by the same teacher in the same room. Tommy and Margie discuss how earlier many students adjusted their level with the same teacher unlike their own schools where every teacher is attend to the requirement of individual student they haven't even read half the book when margie's mother reminds her that it is time for school margie's school room is right next to her bedroom she has to study at regular hours because her mother considers it right to study at fixed time every day As the mechanical teacher is teaching the addition of proper fractions Margie is lost in her thoughts about the working of schools in old times she believes that the kids must have enjoyed going together to school they must have had fun going to the same school studying the same things and being able to help one another 
title. The title of the story, The Fun They Had, has been derived from the closing words of the story. They reflect the opinion of Margie, a young girl in the year 2157, about the students centuries ago. Margie's school is in the room next to her bedroom. In place of a human teacher, she has a mechanical teacher and a big screen that displays her lessons. This machine is, is attached to her level. The girl does not like such customization and imagines how much fun the earlier students must have had going to the same school, studying the same things and being able to help one another. Thus, the fun they had rightly conveys the importance of present-day education system when children have fun during their schooling. Theme The story is based on the theme of the effects of extreme mechanization and automation on the education system. By contrasting the schools of present day with those expected to exist, in the 22nd century, the writer draws the conclusion that present-day schools are fun. Futuristic schools will impart mere knowledge and the students will miss out on the fun they can have while going to the same school, studying the same things, adjusting with the same teacher and being able to help one another. This life experience is fun which will not be available to the students of fully computerized schools. Message The story conveys the message that education is not merely accumulation of information. Computerization can certainly help gain information in a better way. But schooling is much more than acquiring facts. It is a life experience where children interact with others, have fun and learn the values of sharing and caring. If we expect future schools to have mechanical teachers attuned to specific needs of every student and books available only in electronic form, our children will be deprived of the privilege to study and grow together. Characters Margie Margie is an 11-year-old girl who represents the future students in the 22nd century. She is a typical young girl who dislikes school, which is highly personalized and includes a television and a mechanical teacher. She studies in the comfort of her home. Her homework is checked by her mechanized teacher a computer and she also gets lessons from it. Margie does not like her school because she is confined to a room and has to study alone at a fixed time every day. Margie is a curious girl. When she finds a real book in Tommy's hand, she is eager to know about its contents. In fact, she wants to read about the book herself. However, she is surprised that the book describes the school of the yesteryears which had real men as teachers and classes were conducted in a special building. She is fascinated to learn that in those times, the students of the same level studied together. She concludes that the old system was much better as the students had so much fun when they studied together and could help each other. It is through Margie that the author has projected a contrast between the schools of today and the schools of future. Now correct a sketch of Tommy. Tommy Tommy is a young boy of 13 years plays an important role in the story as he is the one who finds a book about the school from yesteryears. The entire action of the story begins after that. 
He represents the students of the future era when education will be absolutely mechanized and automated. Tommy is very curious. As soon as he discovers a real book, he starts reading it. However, he does not like the idea of printed books, which, according to him, are a waste once they have been read. Compared to Margie, he is not as sensitive to the contents of the book. He has an air of superiority. He snubs Margie when she expresses her ignorance about old schools. But he does believe in sharing and when Margie's mother calls her to attend school, he assures her that they can finish the book later. Tommy has been used by the author to contrast the school education of the 20th century with that of the 22nd. Thank you friends.